huge fashion trend this season, and here to show you Bobby Pin Basics is hairstylist Sarah Lund. How are you? I'm good. And this is Serena, our model. So yes. I know that my hairstylists are constantly putting the bobby pins out, outward facing, like they're using them as an accessory now. Yes. So you're going to show us both ways, both how ways. to have them exposed or how to have them hidden when you want them hidden. Yes. So hair accessories are just such a massive trend right now. Yeah. So using our bobby pins is a um, accessible, easy tool to get a really beautiful trend in the hair. Yeah. So I brought with me these very, very cute oh, they're gold, gold bobby shimmery. pins. So we're just going to use the gold bobby pins to create a decoration just right over Serena's ear. And you can see like the bobby pins, I had no idea, come in all different colors. Yes, all different colors, yeah, all different there's shapes, purple, There's purple, there's red, there's yellow, there's gold. So it's a nice, easy way to do it. Yes. So what I'm going to do is just right over here, right over her ear, slide the bobby pin in. Looks mm -hmm. so cute. And with this one, it doesn't matter which way you put it in. You can put it in wavy side down or the straight side down, but when we get to needing it to hold hair, that'll be a little bit of a different story. Got it. So I'm actually just gonna make just How'd a How'd you do that so perfectly? <laughs> like, I mean. So you put them in and then you can play with them a little bit. It's the simplest thing and it Simple. just holds it there in place. Yes, this is fashion and function. It is. Yeah. Very nice. Yes. So now let's turn this into more of just a functional piece. Sure. Using our bobby so pins you want functional. the bobby pins to be holding up a style. You want them to be sort of disappear. Yes. Um, and we want we want them to be holding the style. We want them to disappear. But I find that people just sometimes struggle with exactly how to put them in. Yeah. So I wanted to kind of clear some of that up just to make it a bit easier for everyone. Sure. But, Easy tips and tricks. Okay. So half up style is what we're gonna start with. Half up is so on trend as well. Uh, I think it's nice because it can be casual or it can be dressed up. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're just gonna leave those gold ones in there because who doesn't love a little bit of extra flair? Why not? Why not? So pulling the hair back, really nice, easy, casual. Um, I like to keep a half up do low because yeah. I think it looks really modern. And it we'll looks just, a little unstructured, a little unstructured. You know, a little bit messy, which is what you're looking for. So you roll the hair. So I just give it that nice, easy little twist. Yeah. And I am, for the sake of demonstration, going to use a gold bobby pin. Right. Now, for Serena, I would pick a black bobby pin because right. it would match. But just so you guys get everyone can see, I'm going to use this gold one. Okay. So first thing first, do not open a bobby pin. This is shocking. <laughs> So you don't open it up, you, especially not with your teeth, ladies. Especially not with your <laughs> like teeth. Like I do. So bobby pins are designed to only hold a certain amount of hair. So if we open it, we sort of overload hair with the bobby pin. Oh dear. And it slides out. So yeah. if you watch, I'm gonna put it in yeah. at the face. Yeah. Twist it down so it kind of cinches yes. the hair and slide it right <gasps> in. That's amazing. It's like surgery. It's like watching surgery. <laughs> That is so cool. So you just, you never open it up and you're basically, it feels like counterproductive. You're putting it in the opposite way than you want it to go and then sending it back. Yes. And, also, and then it's really gonna stay. It's really gonna stay. Yeah, what, that's three little bobby pins right in there. That's so cool. Holding her whole half style up. Yeah. Yep. And that's all you need. You that's don't it. need the whole pack. No. Which is what we do, right? Because <laughs> yeah. we're not putting them in right. And then we're constantly finding bobby pins around the house. Everywhere. Every time you need to, um, you know, clean the house or vacuum, there's yes. full of bobby pins everywhere. If you go right now in my living room, there's bobby pins in my shag rug. <laughs> yes. Guaranteed. They're there. Okay, so I'd like to take this a step further now. Uh -huh. And we're gonna pull all the hair up. I love nice. a really low, classic kind of knot at the bottom of the hair. It's such Me a versatile too. hairstyle and it's, it's timeless. Yes. But first I just wanna use a bit of texture spray just to give the hair a little bit of a grip. Nice. Um, Serena has really fine hair. Obviously it's very long, but it's very fine. Mm -hmm. So we don't want the bobby pins to slip. So we'll give a little bit of a grip with a texture spray. If you have a natural texture to the hair, you could probably skip this step. Yep. Or even add like a shine spray. Nice. Add something shiny and glistening. Okay. It smells amazing, by the oh, way. Right? Ooh, yes. it smells so good. So I'm just gonna add it to what we've already done. Okay. And a funny, like a little trick, and you can do this on yourself because I've done it before. Okay. Is I'm gonna take two fingers. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna wrap the hair around those two fingers just like this. Okay. And then grab the end through the loop. Yeah, you're making a little knot. And making a little knot in the hair. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. There it is. Simple. Yeah. I even think those little bits out. Yes. Are Do really you want cute. me to pass you anything? Oh, I'd love for you to. 
Oh, I think I can. Well, I got it. You got it? Yep. So we're going to use these big shaped U pins. My favorite pins. So I'm just going to. Yes. Okay, that's good. Show you what they look like. Yes. Using a bigger pin holds more hair. Right. So this is going to allow us to hold this whole section up. So I'm going to do it that same way, though. I'm going to stick it in. Yeah. Kind of at, like, going towards the head. And then, and go then back. lay it down and push it in. So you can do that yourself on your own head, huh? Yes. That, does that take some practice? I mean, it takes a little bit of finessing. Yeah. I think you kind of have to practice it a couple times. Okay. Maybe the first, you know, maybe not do it for a wedding, but maybe for a day out. <laughs> right. You know? right. Yeah. So there, we yeah. have three bobby pins. And that's it? Yes, and I might add a little more for good measure. Okay. But here's a little pro tip. Yes. Just to get these to stick a little bit closer to the head, I'm gonna just give a slight little bend yeah. to that pin. So see how it now has a little curved shape in it? Yep. Yep. That's going to stay a little bit better. And it's going to hug her head. It's going to hug a little the bit head. Nicer. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so like revolutionary. Yeah. <laughs> and it's about bobby pins. Like I'm, I'm hypnotized. I'm shocked. <laughs> yes. My mind is blown. And everyone's going to come in tomorrow with updos, right? Right? Because <laughs> you made it look so easy.